Hey everybody, how's it going? Let me introduce myself really quick. My name is Seth. I've been hanging around the trading community for a couple of months now, and I actually came from the financial industry. I spent six years working at one of the big banks in information technology, working on things like execution systems, risk management, and C-sharp applications. So I work in a different industry now, which is actually really great for me because I can actually trade futures which I wasn't allowed to do when I worked at a bank. And I'm not the best trader yet, but it has also given me the opportunity to put some of my programming skills to work in NinjaTrader. I've made a couple of my own indicators and I'm starting to help other people make their own indicators. And I just wanted to make a couple of videos sharing some of the things that I've found most useful working with NinjaTrader that I think people should know. I'm not trying to sell anything or anything like that. I just want to share my knowledge with the hopes that it will help the community create something new and interesting. So I wanted to start out by talking about the Visual Studio debugger. I think that some people assume that because NinjaTrader comes with the built-in NinjaScript editor that we don't really need the Visual Studio tools unless we're doing something really advanced, but I really don't feel that's true. The Visual Studio debugger makes it so much easier to debug your application and figure out what's going on when you can step through things step by step and see what all of the variables are and where you're at in the code, what calls what. It just makes a big difference. Plus, it's really easy to use. First, you have to have Visual Studio installed, and the free version is just fine. And if I open up the Ninja Script Editor and right click in the window here, there's an option for debug mode. So make sure that's selected. And what that does is when you compile your code, it will insert all of the information Visual Studio needs to debug your code line by line. So there is a performance penalty with that. So you don't want debug mode enabled when you're actually trading, but you have to have that option selected to debug your code. So let's have that selected. And then up here at the top, there's a button to open project in Visual Studio. And if I click that and I have Visual Studio open already and I go into the solution explorer and I can see all of the same scripts that I can see in the Ninja Script Editor. So let's just open up one of my scripts. I have a level two column here on my chart um, and let's find the drawing function and put a breakpoint here. So if I just click on this uh, left column here, that little dot is where we will break at. Um, and let's make sure that my code has been compiled with the debug mode on. And then the last thing that we need to do is we need to go debug attach to process. So if I open up the NinjaTrader executable here, all right, and now as soon as I get the drawing function to hit, there we go. It breaks at our breakpoint, and I can actually see what all of these different variables are and so on and so forth. So let's actually put a breakpoint down here and click continue so I can see what my X and Y and everything is. Um, some other things that are really useful to look at the call stack will actually show you where in your code you are so i can see where this got called from for instance so i have my main on render function and here's where i'm breaking at um, you can also add watches so if i just want to see the uh, values of this rectangle here right now i can expand that and of course i can always just mouse over it too um, and then the last thing you should probably know is you can detach the process. So if I just go debug and detach all, sometimes when you're debugging, things can get screwed up. So if you're having a hard time getting to, it to work or you get some weirdness, just detach it, recompile everything, reattach it. Everything should be fine. So I'm always open to helping or answering any questions. So if you have a question, please just leave the question in the comments or send me a message directly here on YouTube. I hope this video was useful to you and have fun.